So the next book that we have to read for you guys today is called Pug and Pig Trick or Treat. Now many of you guys normally go trick or treating year after year and you may be going trick or treat this year but some of you may also not be able to go trick or treating this year because of the whole situation that's going on and we're trying to keep people healthy. So even if you aren't going trick or treat this year I hope you have a great time and a very happy Halloween uh, with staying fun, safe and healthy. Uh, but because we know how many of you like trick-or-treating, that's why we're going to read this book to you all called Pig, Pug and Pig's Trick-or-Treat. And this book is written by Susan Lowell Galleon and illustrated by Joyce Wan. This is Pug and Pig's Home. This is Pug and Pig's Scarecrow. These are Pug and Pig's Pumpkin. These are Pug and Pig's Costumes. Pig's, Pig likes the snug fit of her costume. She likes how her bones glow in the dark. She likes that the mask covers her face. Will anyone know who she is? Pig likes her costume very much. But Pug does not like his costume at all. His insides feel squished. His outsides feel squished. He does not like that the mask covers his face. No one will know who he is. Pug does not like his costume until it is scattered all over the yard. Tonight is Halloween. This is Pig's costume. And Pug is not in costume. Pug does not care about Halloween anymore. But someone else does. Who will answer the door with Pig? Who will trick or treat with Pig? Who will go to the Halloween party and eat tasty tidbits with Pig? Pug gets an idea. His idea is the muddy corner of the backyard. Splat! Why, who is this? Perhaps it's Pig Shadow. Look, Pig answers the door with her shadow. Pig goes trick-or-treating with her shadow. Pig goes to the Halloween party and eats tasty tidbits with her shadow. That's not really her shadow. That's Pug in his brand new Halloween costume. Pig likes Halloween. And so does Pug. And there they are all tired out after going to the Halloween party together. So I hope you all have a very happy and a healthy Halloween, and I look forward to reading to you all again soon. The next time someone reads to you, it's not going to be me, Mayor Mike, uh, but it'll be someone else from your hometown here in Gardner, and I look forward to be able to uh, finding another new book to read to you all again. Thank you very much, and I hope you all have a great and excellent day.